Welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. We're in Kyoto. Ryoji, do I have to talk to you to, like, trigger something? Every few hours, there's a surprise in the hot spring. Whatever. Uh, you, do you sell stuff? Welcome. What would you like? Oh, awesome. Uh, keychain, charm, sword. I, I don't know what this is. Is it food? Yeah. Ken will love it. <laughs> I, I can look up what it is in here. Uh, it must be near the bottom, right? A Japanese treat with red bean paste inside. He'll love it. Only a few days old when he gets it. Hey, baby. Hamako-sama, Hamako-sama. This is great, Kyoto. It is better than Destiny World. And see how this tower stands up with only matchsticks? Sugoi. That is the beauty of Japan. Well, congratulations. You have forgotten about your dead aunt. What the fuck are you doing here? Boo, Kenji. What's up? Oh, that's right. I forgot about their stupid dynamic. Fuck this. I hate this. Boo. All right. And cause like super wants to get all up inside Yukari. I forgot about that part too. Uh, what do I do? This takes me upstairs. I think Akihiko is actually the save point. Maybe. It feels just like the dorm. Uh, there's a trip itinerary. It might be a good idea to read through it once. I should just get some sleep. Let me try that again. Okay, I guess not. I think he is in the original version. Yuko's here as well. Uh, is this my room? I think it is. No, it's not. It's a creepy photo kid and Hidetoshi. He doesn't even have a name. He's just kind of a student. This is a lot more involved than I remember it being. What happens if I go in here? Uh, nameless kids. Can I go in these? No, they're fake. They're like lounges or something. Nameless kid. Uh... Calamus room? Just some people. We're intruding on their night. Right. I don't know where the appropriate room is because I'm a girl. Maybe Mitsuru is my save point. She looks like a person with no soul. Jesus Christ. Chill out, Persona 3 Portable. If there's anything you need to know about the trip, the details should be in the trip itinerary right there. Oh, this is it. It's on the table. You could save. Or I could have just done that. <laughs> I forgot that existed. Vending machine. Uh, do you have... No. Durian soda. That's the first I've heard of that. Bellflower room. Uh, nameless kids. Anyone I might possibly know? Nameless... Are you Mitsuru girl? I can't let people see me without my makeup on. I'll have to wait for everyone to go to sleep before I take it off. I know that feeling. Is it you? Uh, King Kakuji? Come on. Uh, if we're in Kyoto, we've got to go to Shinsugumi. I know nothing about Kyoto. Turn to your bed. Let's go see the sights. School excursion day two. Today's itinerary, visiting historical sites. That's a, that's a holdover picture. So is that one. You were sightseeing around Kyoto aboard a tour bus. Visiting the places in person was much more exciting than seeing them in photographs. In the afternoon, everyone went their separate ways at the Kamagawa near the hotel. After everyone returned to the inn. The riverbank of the Kamo River, Shanjo Uhashi. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. Hmm. The later it gets, the more crowded the Shijo becomes. Why are you still concerned about me? Our days of fighting together are over. We have no common goal to fight for, no enemies to defeat, no reason to be friends. 
That's not true. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we continue on? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I failed to. You failed to what? To protect the most important person in your life? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you were atoning for what the Kirito group did in the past, but that's not true. You were only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him and look what happened. My trust for the chairman blinded me and I fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father placed the onus of responsibility all upon himself. And ever since the incident, he looked as if he was dead inside. I fought so that he could release the shame and guilt that burdened him so. But my efforts were futile, and now my life is without meaning. Right? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. Hey, did you know that I used to live around here? After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand to see her acting like that, so I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. My belief in my dad was all I had. Your father was only doing what he thought was best. Yes, but it was still wrong. So he fought to the end to try and make it right again. He never gave up. He believed shadows were dangerous and they needed to be stopped. Even if it meant losing his life, that's why I fight. I want to eliminate the Dark Hour and fulfill my dad's final wish. Fulfill his final wish? That's all I... No. We can do. Right, Senpai? Yes. Yes, I agree, Takeba. It's not over yet. Nothing has been decided. We must put an end to this, for the sake of my father. And yours. Senpai. Yukari, will you stand with me until the end? Of course. Well, I guess we should go and take a bath together now. To take a bath together? Yeah, in the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that we have everything out in the open, there's nothing left for us to hide. Uh, nothing? <laughs> hey, stop blushing. I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, we should really get going. It's already past curfew. After watching Yukari leave, Mitsuru looked toward the sky. There's no need to worry, Father. I am not alone, and I'll never look back again. The resolution in Mitsuru's heart has awakened a new persona. Penthesilea has given rise to Artemisia. Please watch over me. It's just that easy. All the problems in the world overcome from one three-minute conversation. Uh, you have some free time before you go to bed. Oh, look at my cute little kimono portrait art. I love it. Um, you can't go up to the fourth floor, huh? Where the fuck is Ryochi? I thought he had an event during this field trip. Am I not remembering that correctly? Wait. You guys are just losers. Look at Akihiko and his kimono. Seems like Mitsuru's overcome her pain. I don't know what happened, but as long as she's feeling better, I'm relieved. You could have done something. But no, I'm just let Yukari do all the work. Ryoji. Beautiful scenery, beautiful women. Kyoto is the place to be. Of course, having you here with me makes it much more enjoyable. Uh. Thank God they didn't give him a, kim a kimono. Um, how do I trigger this again? I think you can just go back to your room? Maybe? Is that how it works? To be safe, I'm gonna save this itinerary. Uh... Yes, right here. What's up, I guess? I just saw Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san leave the room together. I saw Yukari-chan and Mitsuru's senpai talking to each other. It seems strange for them to be so cheerful together that way. All right, let's go do fan service bullshit. Or not. I thought that was tonight. School excursion day three. It must be tonight. Wow. 
I think these are holdovers from the original version. They might not have been animated. They might have always been photographs. In contrast, yesterday Mitsuru looks to be enjoying herself today. She's being friendly with her classmates and Yukari. Ah, here we go. Since Ryoji asked you to come along, you decided to walk around a little more with him. Kyoto along the bank of the Kamigawa River. You sat with Ryoji eating a crepe that you bought from a nearby stand. A green tea crepe. That color's a little off-putting. Oh, but it's delicious. What do you have against green, Ryoji? You can't find this in Iwatodai. It makes me kind of happy. Uh... That's what, that's what makes traveling fun. So, you get to discover a lot of new things when you visit new places. If that's the way it is, I feel like I'm always traveling. Hey, here's something I didn't know. The light reflects off the river in a different way than it, it shines off of the ocean. Uh, is it because it's flowing? Oh, that might be it. The water's on a journey too. I bet that must be fun. That reminds me, this place is filled with couples too. It seems that Rio, just as Ryoji mentions this, there are suddenly couples everywhere you look. They all look like they're having fun. What kind of things do lovers talk about? Uh... I don't know. That's so. Does that mean you've never had a boyfriend, Hamako-chan? Whoa, hey, come on now. Ryoji seems cheered up by that. Oh, damn it! I bought into what he wanted and I didn't mean to. Ryoji gazed intently at you. Uh, what's the matter? Why you, I wonder? Sure, you're nice and pretty, but I don't think it's that. It's just you. Ryoji seems to be muttering this to himself. You can sense that Ryoji thinks dearly of you. Yay, another rank without it passing real time. That's what I like. Hey, would you be willing to see me like this after we get back from the trip? Um, the day after we get back is the 22nd. It's a Sunday. I'd like to spend some more time with you. Uh, I have to agree to it to finish the link. Oh, I'm so glad. I was getting anxious about what I was going to do if you said no. Then the 22nd it is. Don't forget. Eating into my Akinari time. It's starting to get a little chilly. I wonder if winter's just around the corner. Should we get going? You and Ryoji browse the souvenir shops before going back to the inn. Uh, okay. So we have another one of these. Fuka. Oh, Hamako-chan, do you want to go to the outdoor hot springs? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm looking forward to it. Hamako-chan, you have to go back to your room and get ready first, right? I'll talk to Mitsuru-senpai and Yukari-chan about it while you're doing that. And I'll ask Aegis, too. Is it all right for her to take a bath? Well, she was in the ocean, so... I assume it's fine. Are you heading to the hot springs? Have fun. The hot springs is so relaxing. They're really phoning it in with this conversation here, aren't they? There's Junpei. Sup, Hamako? Have you gone to the outdoor hot spring yet? Uh, I'm about to. Oh, you're going now? This is our last night here, so go blow off some steam. Alright, let's do it. Now the fan service begins. Gotta become the anime. is huge so this is an outdoor hot spring unfortunately its therapeutic healing benefits will not help me you hear splashing from the hot spring uh, who's that is someone there what's the matter yukari did you see something did you hear that just now hear what what about you did you hear something i sure did you did huh uh, Fuka, could you check over there? I it could be a ghost. Um, but I, uh, okay. It's been decided that you're all going to find out what the sounds in the hot spring were. Okay, I'll go around from the left. Uh, okay, then I'll head right. Come with me. Away 
Wait, could there be other guests in the bath too? If that's the case, would we be causing trouble walking around like this? Uh, is someone here? He called out to the depths of the hot spring. There's no answer. I guess not. Is it really a ghost? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Uh... Hmm... I don't see anything particularly suspicious. Hmm... Check the hot water supply, check the floating leaves. I think it's the first one. You check near the hot water supply area. All you find there is hot water streaming out. Nothing here. I I'm not scared, you know. Ah! What was that? An animal? Uh... <laughs> Does it matter? Like, I want to say ghost to freak her out, but let's go with person. But no one answered when I called out a second ago. Maybe I was just hearing things. Should we go check up on Fuka? Uh, let's check ahead first. Why? Is there some place over there that seems suspicious? I'm gonna cheese this, because I feel like you have to answer correctly to, like, get the true end to this sequence. Let's go with this one. Really? I was kind of deliberately avoiding that area. It feels like something might jump out. But wait a sec. Wouldn't that mean a person could hide there? Hmm. Let's check it out. Think I got it right. Huh? You can sense someone in the hollow area of the rock. It's Junpei Akihiko and Ryoji. Uh we, uh, um... Wait, wait th th this is just a misunderstanding. Silence! I'm going to execute you all! It was nice knowing you. I did it! So I guess you can fail that and not get caught. Oh yeah, but that's the way it works on uh, the guy route too, or the original game. You can also do it without getting caught, but where's the fun in that? Everyone remembers what time we're meeting at Kyoto Station, yes? Then please be on time. If any of you are late, I'm the one who will be blamed. Well, let's go. Oh. Good morning. Uh, um. Ignore them. Hmm. Hmm. Everyone took a quick glance before walking past them. Mitsu didn't even stop to glance. Curse you, Kyoto. And now we will pretend that Hello. never happened. Oh, that was fast. How was Kyoto? I'm so tired, but it was a lot of fun. I brought you back some uh, souvenir stories, so I'll tell you them later. Oh, okay. I can't wait to hear them. He's disappointed he wanted the food. We can't go to Tartarus tonight. We're all too tired. Uh, let's go tomorrow night. Even though we don't have anything to fight for anymore. Who says we're going to Tartarus tomorrow? Alright, let's check this dialogue. The girl's stairs are so cold. Not that we didn't deserve it, but... I'll say this. The principal offenders were Chunpei Ryoji. Wow, way to throw everyone under the bus, Akihiko. I was forced to commit the crime against my will. I'm a victim too. Now please don't mention it ever again. I didn't think I'd become an eye sculpture in the hot springs. She actually used her persona. That'll be a memory of Kyoto that I'll never forget, no matter how hard I try. No, I'm really sorry. Forgive me. I guess? Chunpei-san and Akihiko-san must be punished. As a penalty, I shall not converse with them for the rest of the day. Commencing ignore mode. I used to live in Kyoto, so I've been to most of the tourist attractions. I've never seen the sunset at the Kamigawa. It was so beautiful. Jeez, I don't believe it. I'm so in awe of what happened, I'm not even mad anymore. Well, they seem to be sorry after Mitsuru Senpai lectured them. But man, they sure were hard to defrost. Those guys were really frozen. Mitsuru? Kyoto is filled with many beautiful sights. But the place I liked the best was Kamigawa, especially at nighttime. The sunset was absolutely amazing. I will never forget it. I made their punishment especially horrible. Hopefully they'll have learned their lesson. 
Everyone's exhausted? Yeah, I know. I feel kind of bad, but they deserve it. Ken, can I give you your thing? I think I can. A souvenir, really? Yeah, take the, the food. Yes. Oh, Namaya Toshiyashi, whatever. It's got the sweet red beans. Uh, the with sweet red beans is the best. Thank you for the souvenir. Ken's really happy. By the way, I noticed that the girls seem to be holding the guys in contempt. I can't imagine why. Koromaru, you're the one I really miss. Ken can go with you tonight. Uh, let someone else do it. I just got points for Ken. Turn on TV, every channel showing apathy syndrome bullshit. My room. I'm not tired, am I? I'm so good. Alright, study. I really, please, like, please let me hit this right now. Please, come on. Damn it! We have fallen short. I have failed. That's all there is to it. Out of the day off on Monday, we've got career experience starting on Tuesday. Uh, where have they got you working? Tuesday and Wednesday, I've got a construction job. On Thursday and Friday, I'm at a gas station. That's just as bad as mine. I'll be picking up empty cans. Wow, this sucks. I thought this was a good school. So did everyone enjoy the school trip? Uh, career week starts Tuesday. Going into the real world is pretty tough. Does anyone have any food memories from the trip that you'd like to share with the class? Stay awake. Come on. Now, 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 now. Come on. Damn it. Mm, that would have been amazing had it happened then. All right. All of you don't want to hang out. Let me go into the uh, faculty office hallway. Damn it. I saw your exam results. Yeah, I haven't collected this yet. Thank you, Mitsuru. Yuki, things have finally settled down a bit. Since I'm a senior, I was thinking of assigning more tasks to the underclassmen and student council. I deserve some free time after all. I'll still show up to meetings, of course. Um, let's walk home together, Mitsuru. Are you asking me to hang out with you? I don't mean to be rude, but shouldn't you be devoting more time to your studies? Apparently, academics are very important to her. Perhaps if you were a genius, she might hang out with you. Fuck you, Mitsuru. You call me stupid. Damn it. This is why I've been trying to raise academics so that we could start this today, but we're short. And I don't know how far off we are. No Akihiko. No Yukari, right? Oh, we're hanging out with Fuka, I guess. We need to max out academics as soon as possible so I don't lose time on uh, Mitsuru's social link. All right, hurry up. I hope you max out today, loser. Uh, why don't we make this together today? It's a decorated cake. The notebook that Fuka held out to you is a detailed recipe written in Fuka's handwriting. She's even drawn a picture of it. It seems to be a whole cake with tons of fruits on it. Let's make a small one and split it. I'm really looking forward to it. Decide to make a fruit-filled cake together. Flour, um, you use a sifter for this, right? To use the sifter... Luca is consulting her notes while meticulously going through each step. 60 grams of sugar. Oh, this is salt. Luca is slowly making progress and checking each ingredient. This must be the method of cooking for those that aren't good at it that Fuka invented. The fragrant aroma is wafting from the oven. Wow, it came out so nice. It's so fluffy. Now to decorate it. Whipped cream and fruits are put between the layers. That reminds me. I bought a chocolate plate, too. Can you write something on it, Hamako-chan? Uh, what should I write? Huh. How about congratulations, sir? You did your best? Wait, that's what I want to hear. What should you write? Uh, success! This really is a success. Thank you, Hamako-chan. Should we eat this at the dorm? If you don't mind, come to my room. Well, Fuka, I, I don't swing that way. Here's your drink. It would have been nice if we had some candles, too. Well then, let's eat. Did, did you put something in this drink, Fuka? This is delicious. I bet it tastes just as good as the ones they sell in stores. The cake is a little too hard and the whipped cream is kind of watery. <laughs> wow, get dunked on. I'll never forget the flavor of this cake I made with you, Hamaka-chan. Thank you. That's right. Um, there's another reason why I had you come to my room. I want you to have this. You received something from Fuka. Is it the same thing? It is! This is like the coolest gift anyone gives you. 
Since you're always listening to music, I thought you might like these. Remember how I told you that I was pretty good with mechanical devices? I wanted to thank you with something that I'm good at. No, it's not because I want to repay you for your kindness. I just wanted to give you that to you. I felt that I just really wanted you to enjoy them. You're a precious friend of mine, after all. Stop blushing at me. You replace your old headphones with the ones Fuka gave you. The sound is amazing! The technology she used must be revolutionary. Get fucked, Bose. I'll take care of them. Thanks. You sense a strong bond with Fuka. Thou are Ty and I am thou. Thou has established a genuine bond. The innermost power of the priestess Arcana have been set free. We so upon the, the ability to create Skaha! The ultimate form of the priestess Arcana. You had fun chatting with Fuka for a while. Oh, sorry, look at the time. Time flies by when you're having fun. Then again, we live in the same dorm and go to the same school, so I can see you anytime. Thank you for today. Oh, and about the cooking club? I'll be alright on my own, of course. I'd be happy if you, ke if you kept coming. Not a chance. Never gonna happen. But I know that you're busy, and I'd feel bad if you I took up all your time. But it would be nice if I could have you all to myself. Okay, back, back up, Fuka. We're in your room all this time? What? D I've never heard him say that. What the hell? Ryoji Kun was just here. He came to hang out with Junpei Kun. It's not often that we get visitors here. Yeah, do you think it's okay? I'm actually surprised that he's not with a girl. Hey, where's Igis? I saw her on the second floor. Really? Hmm, maybe she's with Koromaru. It's not like them to be gone. TV? Turned on television. Every channel is showing news related to apathy syndrome. Uh, Koromaru? Arf! Koromaru's yawning. I guess? I can't stop thinking about Ryoji-san. I was worried I may overheat. I even asked Koromaru-san for help. Okay then. Let's go to my room. And uh... I'm gonna stop it a little bit short here. We're gonna study. And then uh... Tomorrow we should get locked into a date with Ryoji. I think that's what's gonna happen. So, study, date with Ryoji, and then we pick up and go back to school on Tuesday? Yeah, it's weird, because by Monday, we have the day off. So, how's that gonna work? What am I gonna do on Monday? I don't know. See you guys in the next one.